Welcome to Kanini Kalvi. This video we will discuss concurrent and specialized process models in software engineering subject. So already we discussed uh, three types of process models, generic, linear and uh, evolutionary. This is the fourth type, concurrent models. So the concurrent development model sometimes called concurrent engineering allows a software team to represent iterative and concurrent elements of any of the process model. So, we will see the process models and the process models iterative and concurrent elements and represent panna, we can use concurrent model. For example, the modeling activity defined for the spiral models accomplished by one or more of the following software engineering actions like a prototyping, analysis and design. So, if modeling is a very framework activity, that is why we have uh, some set of actions are represent panna, prototyping, analysis and design. So, this is the concurrent execute. So, this is a modeling activity. In the full box, indicates some modeling activities. So, that is several actions under development, awaiting changes. So, now we are going to awaiting changes. So, we are going to under review in the side. So, in the side, we are going to execute the concurrent execute. So, this is concurrent. That is the iterative. So, this is the iterative. So, this is a uh, concurrent and iterative elements are combined under the concurrent model to use. So, next category is a specialized process model. So, this is the moon. That first one is a component based development. So, we have some software components that is a COTS commercial of the self software uh, developed by vendors that enable the component to be integrated into the software that is to be built. So, in the software use funny. We will create a project a components are ready panni, add panikla. So using cards, we can develop some components that is to be integrated in the software what we are going to be built. Okay. So this is like a spiral model, evolutionary in nature. The component based development model leads to software reuse and reusability. So in the component based development the main advantage reusability or reuse. The component based development model incorporate the following steps. NNS steps are available component based products are researched and evaluated for the application domain. So, we will create a domain where we will first study component based products are available and study. Second, component integration issues are considered. So, we will study the components and join and integrate the issues. Third, we will or architecture design and the architecture and the components la nam add panna porom okay fourth one, the components are integrated into the architecture so adukapra and the architecture la components add panrom fifth step testing panrom comprehensive testing is conducted to ensure proper functionality nam project oda functions correct ah work agada abindradhukku or testing pananum so these are the steps in component based development so second specialized model formal methods model so, this is formal methods model encompasses a set of activities that leads to formal mathematical specification of a computer software. So, we have uh, a set of activities that uh, a mathematical model represent. Pandro. So, parana, formal method methods enable you to specify, develop and verify a computer based system by applying a mathematical notation. So, a mathematical model or a mathematical notation uh, activities represent the formal methods model. That is the variation in the uh, mean name arikha, that is called a clean room software engineering. This is a variation of formal methods model. When formal methods are used during development, they provide a mechanism for eliminating many of the problems. So, if we mathematical model, we represent the problems. Eliminate abdina, ambiguity, incompleteness, and uh, Inconsistency. So, this is easy to eliminate. Panikla. So, this is advantage of a formal methods model. The third type of specialized model is AOSD, Aspect Oriented Software Development. So, this is name AOP, Aspect Oriented Programming, is a relatively new software engineering paradigm that provides a process and a methodological approach for defining, specifying, designing, constructing aspects. So, in the main Aspects design under the kaha, we are using this uh, AOP aspect oriented programming. So we can define the aspect, specify the aspect, design, and also construct the aspect. Adhikaga use pandro. 
ஸோ ஆஸ்பெக்ட் அப்படின்னா என்ன அப்படின்னா தட் எக்ஸ்ப்ரெஸ் கஸ்டமர் கன்சன்ஸ் ஸோ நம்மளுக்கு எது நம்மளுக்கு கஸ்டமருக்கு தெரிஞ்சதை ரெப்ரஸன்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு பேர் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஸோ அது வந்து எங்கே வேணாலும் இருக்கலாம் தட் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் சிஸ்டம் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் சிஸ்டம் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் ஆர் சம் சிஸ்டம் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஸோ அதை தான் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் அப்படின்றது ஓகே ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் ப்ராசஸ் மாடல்ஸ் தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் வாட்சிங் திஸ் வீடியோ Thank you.